Good morning everyone from sweltering hot Italy. Um, today I think I'm feeling like making um, some sort of neutral style tags. Um, I'm going to glue on this side I think. So I'm going to glue down some fairly plain sort of book pages and then we'll take it from there. I've still got my usual mess so I'm just going to move it all over. And see what do I, oh, what is all of that? Oh my word, what is this? Oh, that's one of those. Okay, I can put that in over there. Oh, I think I want to do more like sort of book pagey sort of things. Okay, just, just sort of shovel the messes left and right. <laughs> okay, and then I've got some real ephemera in here, so we might use some of that. Here's a it's a nice page that will glue down. Um, yeah, they're going to be neutral, but then they're going to have um, other things. Oh, I love working with those. Oh, a breeze, a breeze. Cool. Sometimes these things are just slipped in books. Right, let's see what happens. A little bit inspired probably would be, let's say, from my mum when she did her, um, she did her, I'm going to do a bit of hand tearing, um, what do you call it, her, um, her lace journal. I'm going to glue that on there. So I'm going to, is there enough light? Yes. Because I've got my ring light over to the side a little bit. I'll go around the edge with this. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well and staying cool. I'm not. It's very bothersome, but anyway, it is what it is. We have to suck it up and just move slowly. What I might do with this is just, I'm actually going to glue that down. A little crease, yeah, like that, with a little crease wonky. Then I'm just going to tear off. I find it's much less messy doing the gluing this way and I'm sure that everything is stuck oh hello Lulu you gave me a fright you came up so quietly okay and what I'm gluing onto is just a um, a piece of it's just you know from an art book or something like that just one of the end sort of pages Actually, I hope that, that can actually go in as a page in a journal. It's double. I thought it was single. This is quite thick. Here's some ripped 1700s paper. We can always have a bit of that, can't we? I put that up there. For the moment, I'm not going to trim off the edges. Mm. 
Oh, I don't have much to chat about today. Just in the zone, just gluing away. Oh, this is really old. It's so thick. That is, I can't tell you how thick that is. That is almost like a cardstock. I'm going to glue that down there like that. I might put it there. Let's do that. Okay, and we could have a bit of even this more sort of modern paper. We'll just, because it's a nice different color and it's still a nice texture. And I really don't know what I want to do here. I'm just wanting to glue these beigey pages down and then see what happens. You never know what you're going to get, do you? It's too similar to that. Okay, let's see. Put those over there. I have a bit of dictionary page here. So does anyone have anything exciting happening this weekend? Because we had such a busy Thursday and Friday, I feel like I don't want to do anything this weekend. I just want to stay home. Normally I want, I'm like, hey, where are we going to go? What are we going to eat? <laughs> sort of thing. But this weekend, I, just, I think it might be, you know, because if you go out and sit at the restaurant, it's hot. So I just sort of almost prefer to stay home and not, and not do anything. Oh, I like that colour, that way. Okay. Oh dear, oh dear. So exciting news. Yesterday we had to, we were over at our place until eight o'clock last night. At, no, we weren't moving. But the windows arrived. So they are now stacked up, ready to be installed on Monday. Um, we've got the internet technician coming on the 12th, so we'll probably move in a couple of, maybe a day or two before that, so we won't have internet for two days, but I will pre-record my videos, so you'll still get those, and I'll be able to see, if I have orders and stuff like that, I'll be able to see them in my phone, so I should be able to cope, and, um, yeah, and maybe that'll give me a chance to sort of unpack and move in but the, maybe after next week there's quite a lot happening next week in the sense that there will be um where is my cutter i haven't pulled that out for a few days and oh there it is um so yeah so we'll probably um next week they'll be putting up um skirting boards and yeah a lot of finishing off detail sort of stuff is happening next week uh so so um, we don't know, like we, yeah, we, I, I won't get a lot done next week in the sense that I won't, I wanted to cut that one 
Well, do you know what? I'll just cut it with my scissors. I wanted to cut a narrow one. We won't be doing any moving or anything like that. Like we thought we might be able to, Steffi wanted to go and move some of my stuff into like some of the furniture that we've got for my workroom that's in the in our storage room downstairs. Steph wanted to go and do that this weekend. Put that up in my room, but there's all stuff stored in there. Like the cabinet maker's got, the, you know, I think he's got wardrobe stuff and things like that. So um, we can't do that. So we're going to have to wait till the next weekend. Oh, I put that away, but I actually still need it. I'm sure you're wondering what is she doing. I'm wondering what am I doing too. I have a vision. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, this I might cut there. And I wanted to cut it maybe down the centre and do two small ones. And we might add to them, and here I'm going to do the same. Do some smaller ones there, like that. Okay, so we've got our, you know, neutral sort of bases here, and we could add some more. I'm going to leave them. I'm going to actually fold that over the back. So that's our writing side. Oh, excuse me, I've got myself or stick up and use my card that see how that's so much better and I'll, I'll shape it in a second I'll worry about that in a sec I'm gonna leave that I might just fold it up so that's that one this one I might leave like that and just fold a little bit up just to make it a little bit less regular And that one, I tried to glue it down, but it didn't stick. I think possibly I didn't put enough glue. Sometimes I need tall, narrow tags, and I never have them. That one, I'm going to fold down here. So, yeah, so we got our windows very excited about that. And, um, and yeah, so that's all happening. This one, is that one? No. And that's all okay. Okay, so now we can embellish them. Oh, good one. I'm just going to put the lid on so I can just put it in my thing so that... I put it in my thing so the thing's always coming down. That's what I was about to say. Okay. So I'm just over here looking at what do I have. Oh, I wanted to remake those. I'll put that over there. I have lots of stuff here. Oh, I love that. That might be good. That's a real old envelope, isn't it? Pretty. Probably be hoarded for a while. I am going to pull out a bit of these Victoriana sort of things. Maybe that. should put these away. I didn't know I had all of these flying around. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like it all. Oh, that's, I've got to cut those, make the little tabs with those. Now, let's see. It's so pretty on there. I could even tear it down a bit further. I'll have to try and remember what kits they are. I don't know what kits they are. I wouldn't know even if they're, it's mine. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to go and find it is the issue. Yeah, that's good. So put a little bit of glue here. And then this one. So yes, and the other day I was talking about the, the staplers and I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, that's it, rose gold. That's it, you ladies told me, thank you. I appreciate that, M many of you did. 
and rose gold was the color that I was looking for. It would never have come to me. It was really far away from my brain. Okay, I'm not, it's not finished yet, but it has, it has a start. Okay. Sometimes I just like the, you know, more neutrals and then add something on top. Tall and narrow. Well, none of these are tall and narrow. I fancy putting this one somewhere. You know what? I could sort of grab a book page. I might grab, where's that thicker one? A piece of this, considering it was from a religious book. Well, they know what nearly all are. I'm thinking I might glue that on there. It is blending in a bit. I love these little um, sample bits. Oh, this is going to be nice. Let's put this. So I'm sort of constructing my little taggy thing in a backwards sort of way. Because I don't have a base that's suitable for what I'm thinking. What I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just making it up. even put that there and then put something on the reverse side that's a good idea okay so if you there's a particular piece of paper that you like just take that and start with that and then and build your tag it's called build a tag so in Australia there's this franchise I think it's American I don't I think it actually shut down it but when Lulu was little I used to always every time I went to Australia I'd get her one they're called build a bear and the, the kids would go in and choose their bear and it would be filled in front of them and and then they could choose their clothes and everything and Lulu loved it that, I mean she she had Barbie dolls and she did play with Barbie dolls and Monster High and those things but her favorite things were always her teddies and she's still got a couple I well, she's actually got quite a few we kept the sentimental ones and um, and she she would dress them and push them around in the pram and she had a feather boa that she'd put on and hats and <laughs> she'd and and my dad oh, I was going to say grandpa dad would every time he came he'd buy a hat because he's an Aussie doesn't want to you know be in the sunshine um and he would you know then he'd have too much stuff because they'd go shopping me and my stepmother and then they'd um they would I'm wondering if I want to put it on there maybe on the back um, they would then, um, you know what, I'm going to grab this from Heather. I'm all over the place, aren't I? But, you know, this is the process. Things just pop to mind. I'm just going to tear it off roughly. Um, so, yeah, they'd go shopping and, and buy, a, you know, every time they came, they'd buy a hat. And, of course, you don't want to take a hat back to Australia with you. And he'd leave them and Lulu would layer them all on top of her head. She'd wear every single one all at once probably five or six at the same time maybe one day I'll find a photograph and insert it she's grown up now so she you know she looks a bit different so I'll have to ask her permission of course she probably wouldn't mind oh no she might she's at that funny age <laughs> you know when they get embarrassed about silly things and and then you know and then I was saying to Steffi um, we're going to go to, with our friend to Tuscany for the weekend and um, and I was saying to Steph um, we thought we couldn't go because they they said they've got a wedding and that they would, had to cancel our booking and then the next thing I know and then they didn't let me know and then they said um, that we could go and so I was telling um, Steph and I was, I was saying oh Lulu's not happy about it and 
I said, she, he said, what? She didn't want to go. And I said, she doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to go out to dinner. She doesn't want to go away for the weekend. She doesn't. We're going to Puglia with all of her friends and our friends. Um, the friends that have, oh, I love that. See how that just came together? You just go with the flow. Um, yeah, and she, I said, she's at that age. She doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't like anything. It's all a drag for her. Sometimes it's even a drag to go out with her friends. That's what that's what a drag she is. She's drag. She's draggy. Draggy. Draggy daughter. I hope in the phase will finish soon. It's like you, you're punishing her, taking her away. <laughs> I mean, she normally loves it. Teenagers. Teenagers. I can't complain. She's a pretty good girl. I just make her do it. I just say, come on, we're going. You're going to have fun. Build a bridge, get over it, have fun. Oh, I love that. Cool. And we might put a tab on it. Oh, look at this. I'm going in the yellows. Who knew? Okay, we've got this cute little one. Nice for writing. I might not have it that way. And, um, and we need to find something to put on there. Or not. Who knows? Oh, you know what else I wanted to pull out? Just a minute, my basket's over there. I say over there, it's just under the table in an awkward position. I need to find... Oh, excuse me, garbage bin. Hop out of my way. Cut it over there. Oh, these are good. The ephemera. And... The other one I want to add, there they are. And, oh, oh, and I, I, I hooked onto my ring light and it nearly flung all over the place. This is what I wanted too. I thought these would be lovely. I need to do some more of these. I'm just lazy. I just get lazy and, and don't do things. I love these sorts of things. They're really going to go with our tones. Pull out that one. Oh, I've got a piece of this one. That's too big. Here's an R. I ruh, ruh Okay. This one, I might put that on there. And we could put a little, oh, got a little bit of stamped fabric here. Let's have a look. No, don't like the stamped fabric. That just happened to be on my table. Um, can you tell when I'm when I am in, in a struggling way? This is how I am at the moment. Just it's all a bit of a struggle. I do like that, but I don't want to cover all that beautiful 1800s book page. No, I don't like that. Okay, let's focus on this one. Let's just put this one on here, and then we'll do something else. I don't know what. I'm just feeling very random at the moment. Does anybody ever go through phases like that where you just feel random? You don't have anything specific. You just have to sort of sit down and do. That's how it is at the moment. I think it's sometimes in between projects and we just finished our Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Well, I did. Um, then we realised we have another week. So I'm going to do more on there. We'll just put that aside. I'm not going to d dwell on things too much. Um, so... Yeah, so we just finished that project, so I guess I feel like I'm kind of in between things at the moment. Um, but you know, that will change. Same colour. Reject. Reject because it's the same colour. I don't quite like that. I think I'll put that on there. Um, yeah, I think I'm... And then I did the, the wonderful Sharon Hearth um, um, document little notebook thing mini through call it a mini journal mini notebooky i don't know what it was um and so yeah that i haven't done the other one yet but i will but i won't probably won't do it on camera because we just did that so i'm going to put that there and then i'm wondering now i think i'll leave it for a minute i'm just putting on bits and pieces and then we're going to revisit oh i had that one over there too okay so i did 
pull out some other things here. Oh gosh, I love that. I think I'm going to put that on there. I told you I'm going neutral. And yellow. I'm obviously going neutral and yellow. That's the, col the colour for the day. And did you see Wendy made a whole lot of the document journals and they're wonderful, Wendy. I love the video. I have to come over and comment because I watched it on TV. Um, anyway, I messaged Wendy yesterday. We messaged and I told her that I love them. And um, they were fabulous. And Wendy was saying that it's cool there and I was just had, I had cool. No, it's been raining. And so she was able to sit in and make those journals and I, 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 just wanted to say to you Wendy I had total rain rainy weather envy that's what I want I was feeling very envious of your fabulous weather I love that I'm gonna put that on there why we swelter over here and I tell you, I said to Stephanie what's going to really frustrate me is that you know our place is almost ready but we're going to now then we probably can move in earlier than what we think but we've got the technician coming so we're not going to move in too early because otherwise we're going to be there without any internet and that will drive us mad so we are internet dependent and so i was i was saying i'm going to be sitting over here feeling hot with no air conditioning and there's air conditioning that works it works right now and <laughs> i'm over here Oh well, that, them's the breaks. I could go over there. I could move all my stuff over there and go over there and craft and then come back. I could do that. You never know, I might do that. Like that one on there. I love this. I wanted to put this one somewhere. But maybe on something smaller. I might do a deal like that or here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to glue that on there and then figure out what to do with that. Excuse me. This is what you get. Oh, and yesterday my video went up really late because for some reason it wouldn't upload. I, I thought it was uploading and then it wasn't and then we were over at the house until 8 o'clock and then we had to quickly prepare something really quick for dinner and... Um, and with what was just in the fridge. Well, we did have lunch out because our friend was visiting. So I had a pasta and I don't normally, you know, eat lunch out. So um, so we decided we we're having a light dinner anyway. But um, we sort of had to whip it together at the last minute. So we'll do something with that as well before the video ends, I think. As long as I don't take too long with these. Procrastination is the name. The name of the game, procrastination. So no, we can find something else. These were rejected things. Um, what do I have in, what's in this box? Oh, doilies. I looked at my doilies for a while. They've been neglected. I love the colour in that one. I might use a bit of that one, you never know. Just pulling out possibilities here. Oh, that one's cut out. Oh, that one's the other one. I think this one's a bit smaller. I print them out in all sizes, as you do. That should not be in there. Okay, well, we need to have a little play with the doilies. The doilies have not come out to play for a while. I think I like this. I'm going to tear it down a bit better. 
you know, like by hand, so it looks a bit more messy, because that's what we like. And I think I'm gonna wrap that around. So there's the decision. And you know, as you know, you well know by now, um, when you do these collages, one of the most fun things is when you cut them up, you don't know what you're going to get until you cut them up. As in your background. So yeah, I've, I've said it before, I don't use the other end of this one because um, I actually find that I, I squish out too much glue and don't control it so well. And that is gonna, oh, I should have had it fold over that area anyway. Doesn't matter. Uh-oh, I think the noisy one's home. Okay, that's that, and now, the next, I quite like that. I might put that on there, I think. Okay. I'm going to put that there and it's just a little bit of pop of colour. Oh, I've got all that. It doesn't matter. Someone else can cover that if they want to. Okay, so now we've got it. Oh, we've got this one. Let's do something with this. I'm actually just going to fold that over like that. Actually, I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? Because I love the edges of that. Oh, that's not even, is it? that well it wasn't printed on there evenly was it is that okay that's better so I'm actually going to take the bottom I might fold the bottom up and make a pocket I'm going to slip in a piece of paper there that can be written on so not that I'm going to slip in a piece of this. Okay, and I'm going to organically tear that off. I do like making think these things in a non-conventional way. I just really <laughs> have fun doing that. I don't know why, I just do take that off. Okay, so we can glue this. Do as you're told. Oh, I man, I'm now having so much fun from starting. Again, you know, just don't know, just wing it. Don't know what you're going to do. Just turn on the camera, have a vague idea and go with the flow. And then you find... By the end of the of the well, you're not not, not everyone is videoing. By the end of the the crafting, shall we say, session, you've had a lot of fun. Like, oh, that was good. And so then here, I'm going to glue that down like so. And then this, I wanted to fold up to create a pocket, I think. But I want to snip off these bits because they'll get in my way they'll make it chunky so just snip off there and there and there like so okay so glue these down first and I might just no I want to use my my glue stick so I'll just pop on there and and glue it I don't want it to be too wet and then this one now this I did like that edge I'll just leave it 
I was going to tear it off just so it was torn but And then this is going to glue up here. And I'm not going to reinforce it because I'm going to put some of that lovely... This is really fun. I think this has to be done again. This is so much fun. Glue that down. Isn't it amazing the things that you discover while you're doing? Okay, so we've got that. This is a tag. I've got to put something up there as well. And I'm going to pop on over here to these, let's see what strips I could put. No, I don't want that colour. I think I want in that, this, this, the, I think I'll put this, yeah, I'm going to put that one there. And that's, so someone said, can you show how you make it? Well, I can't show how I make it. Well, I could, but there's no, it would be like a two second video. It's, they are full sheet, transparent. Uh, label adhesive sheets so mine are A4 because I'm in Italy we have A4 in America it'll be your size um, but you can buy them on Amazon and they are transparent sheets now my printer doesn't love them but it does it does print on them it does actually do it it does get the job done and I think I'm just going to put that right across there as well to carry it over and the thing I like them, they are a tiny bit shiny, but they're not too bad. Um, probably a little bit like sticky, sticky tape shininess. Um, but the thing about them is, more so than with the, uh, if you print on tracing paper or vellum, is the colour is really super intense, which I really like. And I love that. And voila, we have a tag with a pocket. Now... I'm going to snip or journal card, it's a bit more journal card shape, but I also think I will punch a hole and put some cord through it. So let's finish them all off. So this one, I mean this one I'm leaving it plain because what I wanted to do was I'm going to snip here, here, and, and then I want to put something up here and then and put a hole in it so let's just do our snipping we'll do all of the snipping there's a bit of snipping that needs to happen because we made quite a few so quite a productive session I think but I think what really finishes them off I love that one too that was a willy-nilly one I've already snipped those this one I'm just going to snip there this one's got overhang um, I love the randomness of them and that, you know, that, that they're not all perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do, how long have I been here for? Oh, not that bad now what I want to do is grab different bits and pieces oh I did print these out from the graphics fairy even I don't know if one of these might accept a pop of color they might okay I'm gonna cut one out and see I never knew what to do with these things but actually they're quite good I think for tab tabby things and tags uh, a tab no tabs tabs and you know on the edge of pages and stuff so I'm wondering if I fold that over and I'm then going to punch a hole in it if I glue that on there I think that's really pretty and you just get that little pop of interesting color there we go and this here is just the single 1700s pages page there this will just reinforce that a little bit too There we go. So that's that one. We'll let it dry a second while I do the others. Um, this one, I could, no, I think if I went with the, this one I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put that one aside for a second and see if any of the, are these others would like 
um, asking them if they would like a little bit of colour on them. I don't know, they might. Okay, I'm thinking I might like it on this one. Just there. Yes, that's going to work. Okay. Um, this one can do with some colour. Now, rather than do my corners, I've had a thought while I was snipping away, and I'm sure you're all telling me to do it, fold it, and then snip off your corners. So you don't have to do it four times, you do it twice. I'm going to have the flower on this side. Oh yes, that's going to be very pretty. Very simple. You could add it like something else to it if you wanted to. I'm just keeping them simple. Okay. Does this one want anything from here? Or does it want something else? I quite like this one. So yep, yeah, these are from the premium graphics fairy website now um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that I, I pay for my premium membership as well um, but I did forget that as I mentioned in another video that they did have um, in the premium website access to PDF files that they have created with their you know little single elements that we all use for our digitals. I'm going to put it that way. Cute. Now these. I wasn't going to do that. Those ones on these ones. Those ones on these ones. There you go. That's complex. Oh, I love the richness of this. So I think I might cut myself out a piece of that. And that again is from, I think, is it, I think it's from the Graphics Fairy, that one. I think so. Forgive me if I say the wrong thing. And I think I might put that one on here. No. Here. Too much. No. Here there no here yes on there I knew it was going somewhere as I always say determination you've got to be determined that you're going to find a spot for it I've stuck to my page love it this is my favourite this one I think this one is my favourite now these, they could have the little circles if I could find those, don't know where they are, um, or otherwise I was thinking if I had anything scripty in here, nope, this, these are, might be okay, I know I do have other scripty stuff, I love that. one okay let's have a look my fingers are starting to get sticky so for example I could just cut this so we don't want too much on these 
it's just folded over. I'm actually going to trim a bit more off. And let's audition and see. I like it on there. I think I'm probably going to like it on here. I love it on there. Okay, I'm going to put that one on there. And I'll take another bit for the other one. Oh, on here. So that's that one. And then I'm going to grab maybe this piece. And I'm snipping off a bit more than what I need to because I don't want it to go down too far. I'm going to put that on there. Now this one. Put a bit more of that. Let's just see. Yeah. So it's a nice different way that you can use these little scanned ephemera bits. Okay, and then I need one more bit. I think I'm going to take that. Yep, I'm going to have it that way. Okay, now we're ready. Nearly done. Move all the mess away and grab the crapper dial. I'm not going to put eyelets in. They don't need eyelets. I'm just going to punch. I'm going to do which size? This size. I didn't center that. It doesn't matter. That one can have a smaller one because it's a smaller tag. I'll just grab a pin, that'll do it. Just get the thing out. So I need to see again, it didn't punch enough. I need to wiggle it about. It's a bit slightly better. Oh, it's not doing it's because it's wet. I need to let it dry. We're getting messy holes because it's wet. slightly better. This one I'm going to do the bigger hole. Oh, I love these. Simple, very simple. But they leave a little bit of room, like if you're putting it in a journal for someone, it leaves a bit of room for them to decide if they might want to decorate a bit more. Okay, with these ones, I've got my string here and I love it. So I'm going to grab my string and just see if I can loop it through. Like that. I feel like they need rustic string. Oh, 
oh and you know what else we can put through them lace and I'm feeling like I'm looking at these and I'm loving them so much I feel like Hordsville that's what I'm feeling I need to grab this Oi. sorry I'm just above you Oi. there we go <laughs> oh, it's such hard work okay I need these and I'm just going to cut a length and then I cut it down further I think I'll cut it in half it's just an El Cheapo lace but it's good for this because it's not bulky or anything like that it's not like a crochet lace or something like that I might not have cut it long enough just do one tie I've got sticky fingers just one tie it just stays and then I just snip them off at an angle that one's okay so there we go we'll do a couple with the lace It was bright white, but then I did put it in tea, and then I put it in a bit, another bit in more tea, and um, and that. So one's a bit more tea dyed. This is, but this is not bright white anymore, at least. And I'm wondering. I think, do I want lace? I think I want lace. I do. I made it. I'm going to make this one a bit longer. And I put it on that wooden spool, it didn't come like that. It was just on a cardboard thing. I like the way it sits when you just tie, and it really does, it really does. I'm only snipping off the top one because the bottom one sort of looks like it snips. These ones I want to put, I'm putting string in. But you also could do a string and put your string through. Oops. That didn't work, did it? I ne probably need a, a needle because it's a little hole. Let's twirl it and see. I love these sorts of things. And then get your string and tie. A little bow for a change oh yeah why not and if you wanted the bow to stay then you could um, put a dob of glue there but yeah just put a little bit a little bow on it this one can have a little bow as well it's got a slightly bigger hole because I had to punch it multiple times Pull it tight. Cute. Okay. Oh, I love that. Simple and lovely. And I need a bit more string. This one I will just loop through like the other ones. And that one I'm going to put the piece of lace in. There we go. Oh, I love this. See, it started out a bit iffy, didn't it? <laughs> but we made it started very iffy but you know you guys have said that to me before oh I wasn't sure and then you have to wait till the end to see if you if you're gonna like it or you're not gonna like it maybe you didn't like it I like it I'm happy I've had a good time whoops wonky that one I am gonna snip it's not sitting in a way that I like it okay so there we go so let's recap we've done this it's like a postcard tag these cute little tags and I just that was all except for that one um, and this one here this was all from one already cut into piece of thicker um, end paper from an art book that was from a book page I'm gonna do more of those I love that um, that one that one and I kept them fairly plain plain just because they're pretty sometimes it's nice to have these plainer ones and this has the pocket at the back so we will choose one to put in the back um, being fussy put that in there and then put something else in there cute maybe we'll put this one in there 
Yeah, I like that one more. Okay, so there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will put photographs at the end and I will probably see you tomorrow unless something happens. You know, that would get busy, but because um, that does happen sometimes. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and have a great Saturday and stay cool. See you soon. Bye.